in our last discussion of postnatal drainage, we introduced reflux being a contributing factor. Now we need to talk a little bit more about the causes of acid reflux. We also mentioned that at that time that the primary cause for acid reflux is gluten. Gluten is a protein that is found in any product made from wheat, rye, or barley. As we said before, beer is made from barley, so people who like beer may have to go to gluten-free beer, which there are several different brands. All the breads and the cereals of pastas that are made from wheat, rye, or, or, or rye uh, need to be avoided. The, the problem with the gluten is, it is a protein that is found in these things which causes a lot of problem in the gut. This protein has been found to be increased in the more recent uh, flowers from wheat uh, and we're told in some reports that there's approximately 90% more gluten in the flour now than there used to be. Us older folks know that because when we were kids and someone made a loaf of bread uh, at our home, our mother, our grandmother, and this, we wanted to make a sandwich from this wonderful smelling, delicious smelling, freshly baked bread. We could hardly wait to it cool before we started slicing it. But when we sliced it, we found that there would occasionally be a big hole in the slice, and this was caused by the air bubbles. And sometimes when we're making a sandwich, the, the jelly would even fall through into our hand. When we look at a piece of bread nowadays, we see all little bubbles but no holes in the slice of bread. Gluten glues the bread together. So we know now mechanically that there's more gluten in the flour than there used to be because there are no big holes in the slice of bread. And I'm sure bakeries didn't want people to buy loaves of bread or didn't like to sell loaves of bread that when they sliced it and they got out to make a sandwich, there was a big hole in the middle of the bread. So the grain companies have genetically modified the grain so that now there is approximately 90% more gluten in the flour than there used to be. This gluten also causes other problems with the intestinal tract. The intestinal tract is our primary immune system organ. Everything that enters our body enters through the mucus that we swallow, where the bacteria, the viruses, and things are trapped in the mucus from our nose and also from the food that we eat. And all this goes into the intestinal tract, and then the intestinal tract, the immune system, identifies what has to be done to neutralize these kinds of uh, these infections or control these things. So we're finding out that gluten is a very serious problem for the gut in an awful lot of people, not just people with celiac disease. The gluten is a protein, but we also have an awful lot of carbohydrates or starches that come with the breads and the cereals and the pastas, and the bad guy bacteria in our gut love sugar as do funguses and other things. And we know that when some people get an antibiotic or a sinus infection, they get a yeast infection because the antibiotic doesn't kill the yeast. This gives the yeast a chance to grow because there's lots of sugar in, the gut, in and around the gut uh, which causes problems. The gut wall is damaged by the gluten and also by the bad guy bacteria that are growing and producing toxins. So therefore, the gut can't make the antibodies and things that it should and we become, we get to be into a problem with having irritable bowel syndrome, we have chronic constipation, we have diarrhea, uh, we have uh, dysbiosis or leaky gut syndrome, all being caused by these noxious substances to the gut. Since these foods do damage to the gut in an awful lot of people, resulting in leaky, leaky gut syndrome and other problems, we need to correct the things that are causing this. We also know that 95% of the serotonin that the brain needs to be happy is made in the gut. And a child who is eating a lot of carbohydrates and cereal and pasta, they can develop problems like uh, attention disorder, deficit, other kinds of anxieties and whatever else because the serotonin that the brain needs to be happy is not being made in the gut because the gut is irritated by gluten and by sugar or the carbohydrates. All of the autoimmune diseases begin because of, a, of the damage that is done to our gut, which is our primary immune system organ. A lot of the arthritis, the uh, lupus erythematosus, Crohn's disease, uh, irritable bowel, all of these things come from what is happening in the gut 
because of the excess amount of carbohydrates and gluten that we're ingesting. Again, to correct that problem, we need to change our diet, make sure that we get good protein and good fat and avoid the gluten and cut down on carbohydrates. So that's basically what we can do to improve our health by improving our immune system so that our food digests properly and we absorb good minerals and good proteins to keep us going. We certainly also need fat because our brain is 60% fat and our nerves are insulated with fat, so avoiding fat is not necessarily a good idea. That concludes it for this presentation. The next time we'll talk about earwax.